mash that. Love the most in the world. My family. Once a day, genuinely sit there for five minutes and make pretend one of them got shot in the face. <laughs> I probably once a week to four times a week sit there truly in the shower and try to convince myself that I have lost one of the five most important people in my life and that is the biggest thing I do that leads to the biggest happiness I have. Like, what? You didn't sell enough earrings today? People lack perspective. It's actually remarkably easy if it becomes the way you see the world. Yeah. Ah. Uh. You know what I, you know what? After standing in the shower this morning and imagining one of my family members being shot in the face, I realized I needed to fight in the Mortal Kombat tournament. <laughs> yeah. To avenge them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's that's great advice. How do you? It's just, I feel, it made me feel worse, honestly. Now I feel mm -hmm. like I'm on the edge of something serious. Yeah. But um, it's just funny. He like, picture your, one of the funny the way Gary Vee phrases things, like just the extreme ways that he puts things to yeah. be more like impactful or for clips to go viral or for, you know, to make more people go like, wow, what an excellent point. Like he could have just said, hey, like family is what matters here. Just if anything is bothering you, just remember, like, there's, there are way bigger problems that could happen to you. Like, you know, there are, there are people right now with family members who have cancer. Boo, I don't remember any of this yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, no. Imagine one of your family members got shot in the fucking face. Imagine if your parents didn't have a face anymore. Picture your parents' face right now and replace it with a bloody mutilated mess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so what, you didn't sell a couple programs today? <laughs> Imagine your dad is getting tortured. <laughs> Oh, are you sad? You're sad today? Picture your grandma falling out of her wheelchair onto the street and getting ran over by a bus. And behind that <laughs> bus is a Budweiser delivery truck and it parks it right on her dead ass corpse. And one of the doors flies open and a whole case of fucking cacti falls out. Just a tower of Travis Boom. Scott cacti. Boom, right on her fucking limp corpse. And she explodes. Cat grandma juice sprays all over the buildings. Cactus Jack pineapple flavored seltzer and dead grandma juice hits a, a just a <laughs> bus stop full of people. And now they're drinking your grandma while you're sitting in your home sad because you didn't sell a couple of earrings. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's crazy. Like at at any moment, you know. You can just picture imagine, your, your imagine, dog getting kicked imagine, yeah. down a thousand <laughs> stairs. Picture imagine, that. Imagine you have kids. Yeah. You have kids. Yeah. Yes, I, I do. I have I have a daughter. Okay, imagine your daughter gets taken. You ever seen that movie? Imagine that happens to your daughter. Now it's your daughter. And you can never get her back. Because you don't have the skills. Because you're not Liam Neeson. And you're not a good enough parent either. You failed as a parent. You're not even Liam Neeson. How are you going to save him? You can't. You don't have the techni technical skills. Okay, you know what I like to do? I like to picture my entire family getting... Oh, man. I was going to... Ooh. <laughs> what was that about to be? I don't even want to know. My That'll be another... entire family falling into a cement truck. <laughs> You know what I like to do every morning? I like to take my dick out onto the counter and pound it with a meat cleaver. I like to do that every single morning, and I pound that sucker until it's raw and flat. Until I can't even really recognize if it's a dick or not anymore. So that when I so that when I go to work and I gotta sell a couple earrings, I'm always reminded that it could be better. Yeah, or it could be worse. Excuse me. After beating my cock to a pulp. <laughs> with a meat cleaver. With a literal meat cleaver. After putting my dick in my semen dispenser with no lube and getting it absolutely beaten raw. I go to work with that. <gasps> my non-functioning like, limp like, penis. You sound like Mickey Mouse or some shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna get my dick sucked off. Hey, I'm gonna get my dick sucked today. Oh, uh, yup. Oh, you're so goofy. <laughs> I, can't. I got my penis stuck in the semen collector today. <laughs> Man, this thing sucks my dick better than Minnie Mouse. <laughs> that's not even Mickey Mouse. That's just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> just 
to some guy on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> it sucks it better than Minnie Mouse. <laughs> when does Minnie Mouse ever suck your dick? Uh, yeah, man. Gary V always with the intense, intense shit, man. Picture your family getting swallowed by 10,000 locusts. <laughs> Stung to death in the street. <laughs> you have to listen. You have to listen to their blood-curdling screams as they, as they're essentially tortured to as, death. As the Romans <laughs> hold you there and make you watch it, because they've covered them in honey. They're going to be consumed by this army of locusts, and then buried in a pit of frogs that are all poisonous. <laughs> Some way you didn't sell a couple earrings. Gary, I just asked about Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, Gary. It just said at the end of the Yeah, so should uh, I buy Ethereum so or I, not? So, <laughs> so is Doge a good investment or is it just a meme? <laughs> Imagine your dad's dick is covered in locusts. <laughs> what? I don't want to picture that. Uh, you want to invest in Doge, right? <laughs> okay. Imagine a single one of your balls being sliced out of your ball sack. <laughs> You're curious, you're curious about crypto, huh? Okay. Picture Imagine, falling down a picture, the stairs. Picture yourself falling down the stairs. Let's say somebody twisted up your ball sack enough times where you could just snip that little, that little. <laughs> All right, last one. <laughs> you're interested in real estate. Okay. Picture an elevator losing power and crashing into the ground. A <laughs> hundred stories <laughs> collapsed <laughs> onto your grandma. Onto your grandma. Uh, oh, <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> oh my god, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Candace, we can get the lights back to regular. Can't do much more of that. Oh, fuck, that was. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That might be the hardest bit we've had in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, <laughs> Cody's, Cody's moaning from this bit. <laughs> it's just so funny, dude. <laughs> Cody had a comedy uh, orgasm uh, from that bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Twisted Gary V. I'm about, to, I'm about to light up a cigarette after that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Bro, oh, uh, what's the fucking word when someone is de de demented? Gary V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Gary V. is straight up demented, dude. <laughs> that dude is sick. Man. <laughs> sick in the Seriously, fucking head. Is sick. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You're interested in technology. Imagine you get the new Samsung Nexus 12, and there's a video of your daughter getting mutilated. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Embedded into the phone. <laughs> and it's shipped worldwide so everyone has a copy of this video. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You like liquid death, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's done. He's done. <laughs> That's the end of the episode. <laughs>